In this video we're going to look at how to simulate using custom stock and custom fixtures in the virtual CNC module. First we'll see here that I have my part drawn and programmed. I've also drawn some just some rectangles for clamps. Now in order to simulate using these clamps as well as a custom shaped stock what we'll need to do is we'll need to save out an STL model of both the clamps and the stock separately. Now an easy way to do this, first what we're going to do is we're going to solid model this. So I'll come here to surfaces and I'm going to extrude. What I'm going to do is make these clamps quarter of an inch thick and then I'll pick these. Now you can put as much detail into the model as you want for the simulation but in this case I'm just going to use some flat rectangles uh, with the thickness of my clamps as well as I'm going to extrude my stock negative one inch which will be this shape so we can see we're just going to cut into what would be more or less like a casting type shape now that we have the solid model what we need to do is separate this into a separate drawing for an, or an STL file so I'll start a new file an easy way to do this is to just go ahead and I'm going to cancel out of my command we're going to go to our selection mode we'll select the clamps I'm going to go to edit copy and then we'll go over to the new file and go to paste now what is important you'll notice that these stay centered around zero so wherever you have your clamps and your stock drawn is you'll want to have it placed in reference to zero however they're really going to sit in your simulation as well as on your machine so we can take this and we'll do a save as I'm going to go ahead and choose STL I'm going to save it as clamp.stl you can name the file anything that you'd like to and then we'll do the same for the stock we'll come back to our original drawing I'm going to clear my selection I'll pick the stock and we'll just copy start a new file and then paste the stock in and then save it as an STL so we'll go to file save as we'll choose STL in this case I'm just going to call it stock we'll save now we could launch the virtual CNC now you could see by default what the virtual CNC did was it gave us rectangular stock to change this we need to come up here to file and then job properties inside of the job properties you'll see that there's two ta uh, there's more than two tabs here but we're just going to deal with stock and tool now we have to choose STL stock now you'll notice that we can add and delete so for our first we'll choose STL stock and we'll go ahead and choose the stock that we had saved to our desktop which we had called stock.stl that'll load the stock and then for the clamps we'll add which will be another stock item and this will be an STL fixture we'll browse for the clamps in this case I'll use the clamp.stl and choose open. Now you'll see that the clamps are positioned as well as the material. Now it, once you change your stock you have to make sure your tools are set up. In this case I have T1 it's a flat end mill and in this example I used a quarter inch end mill. So once the tool is set up we can then choose OK and you'll see that the stock as well as the fixtures is going to update. Now we can simulate using the proper stock as well as the fixtures in this case I could see that my rapid plane was not high enough for this clamp so I could see that I would have cut right through my clamp so sometimes it's a good idea to go ahead and include your fixtures and then you could see any errors that you might encounter and that concludes this video